Good afternoon, and happy March 28th, and welcome back to the Leaf Riders of Renwood, where yesterday we had to uh, kind of fend off a large flying creature that attacked us and the travelers with us, and the art certainly made it look like an owl, although what we read kind of made it seem like we weren't supposed to know what it looks like yet, so who knows what that's about. But we were somewhat successful. We took some damage, <clears throat> and we did lose one more Traveler. But, you know, we didn't take that much damage. We did get in for some hits, so I would say it went all right. And let's see what we do in the aftermath of the fight. So there we go. And we'll tear that off. All right. So we have Thursday, March 28th, 2024 which is Thorn's Day of Frostmelt, and we appear to be traveling again. And I see we do have the option to use a campfire to take a rest, but I guess we'll see how the day goes. Maybe I'll end up taking more damage, but <clears throat> as it stands at the moment, I don't see a need to take a rest. Like, we're only down, like, four health kind of thing, so it doesn't seem to be a huge reason to do that. But uh, I don't see any treasure symbols. I wouldn't really expect there to be a pickpocket. I guess it's possible, but but I don't see any treasure, so let's go ahead and read the page. You have the crucial task of guiding these survivors to safety, away from the relentless monster that hunts you all. The recent battle left everyone disoriented, and after regrouping and tending to wounds, you find yourself lost in the woods. You consider following the mountain range that offers more cover but less visibility, or the coastline, which offers more visibility, but less protection. <clears throat> okay, so we have an option. Either follow the mountain range or the coastline. Both of them are going to be D20 plus wisdom rolls, and we will be able to use our survivalist ability. So, do we value the visibility or the protection? I mean, my instinct is to, to go for protection, but what could, like, what could visibility do for us? I suppose we're less likely to get lost, probably. Or maybe we're less likely to lose other travelers. So maybe, like, maybe we're more likely to take some damage, but we'll probably we'll keep more travelers kind of thing. I don't know, to me it seems like if you take the kind of defensive route, um with cover I, th I feel like i'm less likely to lose travelers that way and i, and I do want to try to keep travelers so i, I am going to to not prioritize visibility because i'm i'm just not really sure what that offers me per se um and yeah I'll, I'll prioritize protection so we're going to follow the mountain range so we need to roll a d20 and add wisdom oh okay we rolled a 20. so <clears throat> we get a boon which is nice and uh, we would add stuff to it, but it doesn't matter because that's a guaranteed success. All right, so follow the mountain range. If the result is 15 or more, your survival expertise shines through as you efficiently lead the group through the mountain range and never lose a traveler. Despite the obstacles, you find a safe and relatively straightforward path. You must consume two meal rations. Okay. Well, we will do that. So let's go down to two from four. Let's see if we can get a good erase there. All right. We are down to two meal rations. Lovely. All right. Well, that went quite well, I would say. And then... Yeah, it says uh, at the very bottom, at the end of the page, you find the edge of the Lost Woods, where you can safely see the group on their way to the village of Harkenrun. Okay, so sounds like we've probably completed this kind of little mini quest to escort the travelers, so I wonder if we will see what kind of our reward, or lack thereof, is for having done so uh, tomorrow. And... We do have to decide if we want to take that uh, long rest using a campfire here. And I don't see a huge reason to do that. Um, 
we've just we've got a decent amount of HP. None of our uh, party have have taken damage, so I really don't see a huge reason to to take a rest. We can mark off his used surge from yesterday, and we no longer have plus one defense. So yeah, I I don't see much of a reason to take a rest. Like obviously, if you know, if we go into like three or four combats right in a row, then maybe we'll want to. But as it stands, I don't. I, like, I don't know that the rest is going to make all that much of a difference anyway. Like, 4 HP is is notable, but, but yeah, I think I'm good not taking a rest. So, there we go. That is it for today, and I will see you tomorrow. Until then, have a great day.